Yeah, the role of a coxswain is definitely hard to describe to people who are not familiar with the sport. I always give the analogy of driving a car, where I'm the driver, I'm on the steering wheel, I have the turn signal, the rowers are the engine, so I control how fast we're going, how slow we're going, the cadence. Having a coxswain there to essentially think for the boat is really helpful so that the guys can focus on just pulling as hard as they can all the time. So I'm the only guy looking forward, I'm the only guy who has his eyes down the course. During races, I'm the only guy who's looking out the boat at other boats, and so it's really important for me to be open and clear with the guys like, okay, this is what's coming next. This is how far we are. This is where the other boats are. You know, we're kind of hunched into this little spot and we have typically two strings on both of our sides that are controlling the rudder, which is underneath the boat, uh, and that is what steers the boat. And then we also have equipment that's called the Cox Box, which connects into the boat through a system of speakers. And I also then wear a microphone that connects into the Cox Box, which allows me to project my voice throughout the entire boat. I'm five foot four, which I mean, even compared to U.S. averages, is very small. And the athletes are anywhere from six foot to six foot eight right now. It's a very unique position for a guy because you don't see guys my size oftentimes in sport. Like I'm more of a coaching position compared to like a physical position. If I'm speaking very monotone and very calm, you know, it's that's typically calls I'll make for either technique or to dial and focus. Whereas if I get loud, I increase my volume, I increase my cadence and pitch and all that. That's typically throwing more of an aggressive tone for the guys to either make a move. So I think something that most people don't know is their voice is so powerful. The coaches will give you broad goals, but in general, it's up to the coxswain to run practices, figure out basically what the boat needs on their own. And I think that's super unique compared to like almost any other program in the nation. For me personally, it's contributed a lot to my growth because it's let me become a really, really independent and quick thinker. And it's naturally improved my coxing because I have to be on my toes all the time. And then on top of that, the stuff that I'm saying has to be quality. Considering other schools rely a lot on coaches running drills and practices, here we do rely on coxswains to make sure things are running smoothly. That means keeping all the boats together for going just two eights across or four eights across, five eights. You know, it's keeping everyone together, moving along our entire lake. The way I cox or race a boat is could be totally different than the way any of my other teammate coxswains cox a boat. But we are all on the same goal and same page, but we might just have a different route of getting there, uh, which is totally fine. And the coaches recognize that and allow us to be a lot more creative, and it allows us to bring more unique styles to the team. Uh, which all in all just enhances the culture. Come race time, coaches aren't there, and so it's just the coxswain in the boat. It touches back on like the trust that you built up throughout the entire semester. I have tell the guys, put the blinders on, I'll tell you where the other boats are. I just want you to pull, chase splits, chase pushing yourself, telling them, okay, this is the rate, this is where you are in peace, this is the move that we're hitting next, this is what, what I want you to focus on. And it really helps streamline the process because the guys just focus on pulling as hard as they can and pulling together. And my favorite thing is just being able to lead a group of guys that is this high quality. Like, you don't find guys like this anywhere else. It's just really humbling to be the person in the boat that they look up to, that is being able to push them to new limits. You know, it's definitely something I learn from every day in terms of decision making and learning to process information very quickly and to be able to problem solve like on hand, in the moment, on the fly constantly. And these are then skills I'm able to take out outside of rowing uh, as well into the real world and that's definitely helped me a lot in terms of just regular life. You know, it's different. Every single boat is different and so I'm able to adapt and learn from them just as much as they learn from me.